Hello everyone, my name is Leon Toast. Um, so today I want to tell you how you can get less or almost no input delay whatsoever on um, NES emulator, um, especially its Nestopia. So um, I've been telling everyone for the past months um, that all you have to do is full screen and I think what they tried out was they just did this. They were like, oh, it's stretched, it has still the same input delay, no. It's not what you do. I just do with um, pressing Alt plus Enter. So I have I have a really small hand, so I can't do that. But um, I'm gonna lay my phone down. I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna press Alt Enter real quick. Okay, there you go. Uh, maybe I can make a slow motion video um, right behind this one, and maybe then you can actually maybe tell a difference. But um, like this, if you press Alt Enter, you should have less input delay, and um, yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, you don't need like a special monitor for it. Mine is a normal monitor. It um, <clears throat> it has this is this is like it has it's full HD, sixty hertz, um, and I think like a few milliseconds of normal delay that every monitor has, or like the like mid-range monitors but also the the specs um i don't know about vga and or um dvi i guess what it's called um and display port but i use hdmi i don't know if you can see but i just use hdmi so yeah i'm gonna make a slow motion video behind this so thanks for watching